Hey everyone. I've received something in my mailbox that I really wanted to share with you. This cute little purple box was sent to me by Robert from SeaTac to play around with after we met at Superbooth this year. So this thing is actually a standalone version of an already existing Eurorack module, the SeaTac TBD. The TBD stands for To Be Determined. I actually even have one. Let me real quickly show it to you. The idea behind the box and the module is super interesting. The hardware is built around an ESP32 microcontroller that creates its own Wi-Fi network and hosts an interface to configure two available audio engines. The website that the ESP creates can be accessed with any device like your computer or smartphone, for example. Each of the two audio engines can be a 303 clone, a sampler or mutable Braids oscillator only to name a few of the many different options that exist. Since there are also two audio inputs available, the TBD can also be used as an effects box, with a stereo reverb or stereo delay, for example. And the best thing about the whole TBD, it's open source. And if you want, you can even contribute to it. Just check out the GitHub link to it that I put in the description. Now, I would love to use this box in my regular setup every day, but this 3D printed box isn't really that sturdy and it also doesn't look as clean as it potentially could and as I would love to have it. So, and this is where PCBWay approached me and asked if I wanted to try out any of their services. And when I saw that they offered CNC milling, I was immediately thinking of an enclosure for the TBD box. And I was very lucky, Robert already had the enclosure files made and he just sent them over to me and I only needed to export the right components in the step format and upload them at PCBWay. Very easy in fact. I also designed this uh, nice front panel with Enic finish that I ordered together with the enclosure. A few days passed and this box showed up at my workshop. Let's see what we got. So this is the box for the TBD standalone version. It is made of aluminum, which is then anodized and black, which looks super nice. As you see, the finish is super nice and shiny. Looks very professional. And yeah, here's a little shot of the frame again. There are four holes on the frame where you can attach the front panel. And here's the front panel. Let's get one out and see what it looks like. As you can probably also see, I was very much inspired by Look Mom No Computer for this one and it turned out very nice, I think. So let's put the TVD in its box and yeah, we did a lot of talking. Let's move on to some jamming and see what the TVD sounds like.
don't have any official infos yet when the TBD box is going to release officially. But I think there's a lot of planning and stuff involved with releasing it in the background. And yeah, keep an eye out on the official GitHub repository and I'm sure you'll be the first one to know. While you're at it, also make sure to check out my Instagram. I'm doing a lot of small videos there, little jams that might be interesting. And yeah, let's go for a second jam. Yeah, and I guess this is it for today's video. Huge thanks to Robert from SeaTag for sending over this box. It's been great fun playing around with and will be. And also thanks to PCB Way for sending over the box and the front panel. And thank you for watching. See you in the next video.